Well, hello guys, and welcome back to another exciting adventure with the Riotic Corporation. Today I'm joined back to Mars in our Never Surrender series. And uh, today we're going to get working on a PAM miner for our little base here so that we can constantly have resources. Uh, Mars is going to instruct me on how to build one, and we're going to get started on it. So without further ado, Mars, you take the lead. All right, sounds good. Um, have you ever built or worked with the Path Auto Miner script before, Commander? I have not. Okay. Um, I did recently make a small pan miner for Earth, um, which seemed to work pretty decently in testing. Uh, so I do have a blueprint of one we can build. Um, basically, though, for the Path Auto Miner, that is basically a script that controls a mining ship. A uh, small grid or large grid, and it will fly a ship from a connector on a base out to an ore deposit and then mine in a set pattern. Once it fills up, it will stop mining, fly back to the connector on the base, and park. I got um, you. So, pretty simple. Uh, makes my life a lot easier because I dislike having to make hundreds of mining runs. I prefer building. And so. Um, I think basically to get started, um, I do have some uh, components queued up in the assembler. What we will really need is probably a dock for it to um, dock at. Well, we, and could, we could always add an extra connector somewhere out here if need be. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was my plan. Um, I think everything went in the assembler. Oh, but the that world. being the case, um, there's a few things that need to be set up, and it looks like access is denied for me there. I got you. Just a second. Okay, I got some out of the cargo, so that's good. should be shared with faction now so you should have access to anything you need um, okay building a dock out that way um yeah the miner I was gonna build or have us build and then show you how it works uh, let you play around with it a bit is a vertical miner all right um, so the drills are on the bottom of the miner and the connection is on the rear um, after the miner I got you um, I think that'll be more than high enough, so I was just going to stick a dock out this direction, away from these cargo containers. Um, and then the only setup required for this is we're going to need a sorter All right. to pull the resources from this miner. Um, and because this is going to be just a battery-powered and atmospheric, that's basically... We just need a connector and a sorter downstream to pull all of the um, mined ore into the base. I so um, that's kind of what we're going to need to dock it. Um, the only other issues I can see us having is power issues, but we can just put up a couple more uh, wind turbines when we get to that point. Well, we still have, uh, we got two large hydrogen tanks that are at least. Uh, I'd say one's 100% and one's about 75% full, so I mean, we can always use the generators if need be. Okay. I mean, uh, I, was just I, thinking did, we got it. I did a lot of ice mining off screen um, so that I could get this full. Okay, sounds good. Because to... I know you've seen it, and I know the viewers have seen it. Nobody's asked any questions about this grid behind me here. Um, and that's going to be our frigate slash cruiser class, whatever, destroyer, whatever we want to call it, once it's finished. Okay. Uh, right now, of course, it's just a hull and scaffolding at that. Alright, looks good. 
And of course it is going to be hydrogen powered so it will need to be filled up. So we may need to at some point build maybe two or three more tanks so that we have plenty of hydrogen to fill up with. Okay. That's going to be a lot of hydrogen and once we get to space we'll once we easily be able to get resources. Yeah. Once Unless we get to we space it won't take as the, much uh, hydrogen either. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to toss a rotor down here Ooh. and put a small head on that in a projector. Uh, do we have... What's our power at? We're at 12.1%, so I'd say we got plenty of power. Okay. But... Um, we're also not refining anything at the moment. Uh, yeah, we are not refining. Okay. Yeah, I know that refi large refinery we stuck on the base takes a lot of power. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not empty, but uh, it's not got any ore in it. How tall is this? Now, um, one thing I am seeing, we don't have any iron reserve. We are actually very low on iron at the moment, uh, 0.54, unless we've got it sitting somewhere else. No. I may have to make an iron run so that we'll have some okay. before you get that finished. Um, Which doesn't need... bother me. We're not far from an iron deposit. Well, if you want to go get started on that, um, I can get this set up so we can. I can just toss the projector up and kind of talk through everything that I'm putting together. All right. Um, well, I'm gonna run over here to the iron deposit, do a little bit of mining real quick. Once we get back. I need to set up a strip miner for this iron deposit. As you know, it's just a small band that goes in a big circle. Okay, we Unless... can set up the fam miner once we get that out running and you can see how it works. Yep. Uh, and if need be, we can put on the multiple fam miners once we see how this one works and what we are getting. Oh, most definitely. If, uh, if that one works excellently, keeps us up, top up, then definitely. That'll make it easier getting uh, ice too. Hydrogen. Yeah.
we've got about 200k iron in this miner right now. All right, now we got some iron working. All right, I'm just setting up these screens real quick for some things to reference. Um, okay, so this is the blueprint of the pan miner I threw together. Um, to note, for running the script, there's a programmable block on there, which will have PAM. There's a remote control block. There is a sensor um, and drills. The other thing to note when I set this up is it's a bore or tunnel miner. So when the drills are drilling uh, left click, it can actually create a large enough hole for the miner itself to fit in. Um, additional things that I added are a bunch of ejectors to get rid of stone and a sorter system on it, uh, just a default space engineer sorter system. And it has enough upward thrust that when all the drills are full and all the medium cargo containers and cockpit is full of stone or ore, it can still lift itself. Um, and then, yeah, do you have any questions? Nope. Nope, no questions here.
Alrighty. Back. Okay. So, walk me through these uh, these screens real quick after you get done with that. Okay. Um, you could uh, technically bring the welder at, welding ship out here if you need me to make uh, it work yeah. faster. I figured you could start using that once I go over this real quickly. Yeah. Um, but basically for using the path auto miner script, mm -hmm. there's a couple things you need. A programmable block with the script actually loaded on your ship, a remote, a sensor, um, and you actually need your uh, miner to be a tunnel or bore miner. So basically that means when you're left click drilling, your miner will um, create a hole large enough for itself to fit in. All right. Um, since we're on a planet, I prefer using a vertical miner setup. Um, that way I can get direct most thrust to lift the ship and maneuver the ship downwards. So once the ship's full, I can just fly level. Mm -hmm. And um, other things you can add that are helpful. Um, your ship can be hydrogen or battery powered. The script will work with the hydrogen tank and manage that perfectly well. You can add an antenna to have remote status of your ship. All right. Um, normally I don't do that because I find I don't need to and I don't like having all the clud and clutter and then you can also have ejectors. Um, in this case I'm just using sorters with a whole bunch of ejectors which is going to pull in stone and eject all the stone. Okay. Um, once you actually have the ship, your ship built with everything needed on it and some of the um, blocks labeled correctly. Uh, mainly that requires just labeling the blocks with Pam in their block name. There's um, a couple commands, really only three commands you need to know to run the script. Up, down, uh, and apply? Yes. That'll make more sense once you're actually flying the ship, because the one of the LCD screens in the cockpit will be set up with a drop-down menu, and you can move the cursor up, down, and apply action. Ah. Okay. Um, then other useful ones is there's you can stop and align. Align basically just aligns the ship to Earth gravity or planetary gravity, which ah. is helpful if you want to um, mine vertically. And because I have very minimal uh, directional thrust on this ship, I will probably use that command before I set up a mining job, just to make sure it is um, level. So when it does get full, it will be able to hold itself up and uh, fly with no issues. The other one is stop, which I may have gotten wrong because I'm going from memory. That should just stop the script and revert it back to player control. This is useful to have a button on the side of your ship that you can just hit and press. That's bright red, so you can stop the ship if things start going haywire. Um, but most of the issues I've had with this script are pilot error. Um, Jam four. So now, if you just want to help me load up this ship, we can go ahead and do that. Sure can. Um, and I'll try and make sure we don't miss any of the blocks that I have tucked away on the inside. I'll uh, I'll get our, our brand new welding ship that I built off screen. Just for this purpose. Well, for welding purposes, that is. Alright, welder's on. Okay. May not have any interior plates. I think there was an issue with it pulling that. Is your ship full of components? Mm, no. Let me see here. Let me set up to put all on. Okay. That may be what's going on with it. You got my that collector. Quite a bit. 
Okay, yeah, she's not. Going into the connector, but not going into the actual ship. Yeah, how do you have your sorter set up? To push out into the ship. Is the sorter on the main grid underneath the connector? Yes. Okay, that's your issue because it's only going to push components into the connector. It may try and force it into the connected loader ship. It may not. Um, so you should be able to pull easily, but do get it so that it would be foolproof. You may have to drop the connector down by one block and stick a sorter on the your loader ship pointing into it, and then it'll pull until the cargoes of the water ship are full. I got you. That may be an issue though, because you won't be able to remove parts from the water ship. Yeah. I just went in and manually did it. Okay. What do you think about our new hangar door? It's interesting. Functional to say the least, right? Yeah. Like I get a most everything. Should be able to get. Should be able to get everything. It's not that wide. It's thirteen blocks. grinding down something I'm trying to build. Yeah. Okay. I just put some armor blocks there so you could try and get the internals built before all the cargo containers were. Ah, I got you. around to the other side now. Welders on. Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna go check the projector real quick. Alright. Okay, it looks like we just have some blocks tucked in on top in between the batteries. Working on them now. Should be a programmable block, a projector, which we don't actually need. Two blocks. Uh, one thruster and one small conveyor, it looks like. How about now? Anything uh, else? Just one small conveyor. It may be tucked inside somewhere. Hmm. That sounds like it. You want to check? Yep, it's complete. And four. Welder back in. Action. I need to put a camera on the bottom of this so that I know when I'm lined up to the connector. sitting so far back. Oh wow. Oh, need to weld up the other part. It's docking area. Oh yeah, the sorter and the conveyors. Yep. All right. Well, there's hot. I'll go ahead and set up this sorter and connector. Alright, all done. And really for this um, connector, I'm just going to have drain all. Four and ice. Or for this one. With luck, the ship will bring back nothing but four and ice. With luck. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for the next one where we actually set up the miner itself and get it ready to go out and do some mining. So until then, thanks for watching. This is the Riotech Corporation, signing off.